Hi. In this tutorial, what I'd like to do is show you how we can work out the coordinates of stationary points for a curve which is given as an implicit equation. I'm assuming that you're familiar with implicit differentiation and things like the product rule for differentiation. If not, just go back on my website, examsolutions.net and when you see this video you'll see links to those particular tutorials. Okay well working on the assumption that you're familiar with those ideas what we've got to do is differentiate the equation of this curve put the gradient dy by dx equal to zero and solve for those stationary points. So let's just copy that equation down again we've got x squared minus 4xy equals y squared minus 20. And we need to find dy by dx so we're going to need to differentiate, I'll just write this briefly, differentiate with respect to x. Okay. So when we look at the first term x squared, differentiate x squared with respect to x, we therefore have 2x. Now when we come on to the second term, minus 4xy, we'll put the minus here and then we've got two factors being multiplied together. We've got the 4x times the y. So we're going to need to use the product rule here. So I'm going to take the 4x and multiply that now by the differential of y with respect to x, which is going to be dy by dx then it's plus for the product rule and then I take the y and I multiply the y by the differential of 4x with respect to x which is just going to be simply 4 and we'll close those brackets off and then we've got the equals and now we differentiate y squared with respect to x so being a function of y differentiated with respect to y that would be 2y but remember we have to put the dy by dx on the end when we're doing implicit differentiation. And then we differentiate the constant, minus 20 with respect to x, that's going to be 0. OK, so we've got our equation now. Let's just expand this bracket, tidy it up a little. So we therefore have got 2x for the first term. Multiplying this out, we've got minus 4x dy by dx and then we've got minus here 4y so minus 4y equals 2y dy by dx now I can see that each term has got a factor of 2 in it so I could divide through by 2 so that would go into that term once into this term twice into that one twice and into that one once Okay, so now all I need to do is group together the terms in dy by dx. So if I was to add 2x dy by dx to both sides, then I'll be left with x, the first term here, minus 2y equals, and then if I pull out dy by dx as a common factor as well, I'll have 2x and then plus y and that will be all multiplied by dy by dx. So rearranging this for dy by dx gives me that dy by dx equals x minus 2y all divided by 2x plus y. OK, now I know that at stationary points, dy by dx should equal 0. So let's just put here at stationary points, okay, stationary points, dy by dx equals 0. So that means obviously that x minus 2y over 2x plus y must equal 0. Let's just squeeze it in here, okay? So it follows that x minus 2y over 2x plus y must equal 0. 
Now, when you've got a fraction that equals 0, if I multiply both sides by 2x plus y, then I'm going to be left with x minus 2y equals 0. So the top of the fraction must be 0. So therefore we have that x minus 2y equals 0. And clearly it follows from here that if we make x the subject, that x will equal 2y. Now, I'm going to need to do simultaneous equations here. So if I call this equation here number 1, and we've got this equation here as number 2, then all I've got to do is substitute equation 2, wherever we see an x, in equation 1, we're just going to replace it with 2y. So I need to say that, so I'm going to say sub equation 2 into 1, okay? And what does that give us then? Well, for x squared, we're going to have 2y all squared, so therefore we have 2y all squared minus 4 times x, so we've got minus 4 times x, x being 2y, multiplied by another y there, equals y squared minus 20. So if I simplify this, I've got 4y squared here, I've got minus 8y squared here, so 4y squared minus 8y squared is minus 4y squared, and if I add it to the other side, I'm going to get 5y squared, and 5y squared would have to equal the 20 if I add 20 to both sides. Okay, so just check that rearrangement. And then divide both sides by 5, and we therefore have y squared equals 4, and that's going to lead on to y equaling the square root of 4, which will be plus or minus 2. Okay? Now all I need to do is just substitute y equals plus or minus 2 into equation 2 to get what x is. I'm just going to say it here though, and that is sub y equals plus or minus 2 into equation 2. So that means that when y equals 2, we can see that x will equal 2 times 2, 4. And when y equals minus 2, clearly x equals 2 times minus 2, which is minus 4. So in summary then, we've therefore got stationary points, okay, stationary points at, and those coordinates are going to be at, when x is 4, y is 2, so stationary point at 4, 2, and you've got another stationary point at minus 4 and minus 2. Okay, two stationary points then. Now, you're normally asked to find out the nature of the all stationary points, whether they are a maximum or a minimum, or even possibly a point of inflection. And in the next video that I've got, and you'll see that there's a link here, okay, to the next video, or if you're looking at this on my website, then the nature of the stationary points is seen as the video underneath this one. Okay, so I hope that gives you some understanding of how we can go about this then for finding stationary points for an implicit equation.